Very good evening. Thanks for joining me for the Monday Wash Up Live for another week. Well, shortly we'll be hearing from Eddie Betts about what it was like out there on Saturday night in Darwin, including his efforts to look after Rory Sloan after that head knock. But first, there is plenty of news to come out of the game, including some work for the MRP with skipper Taylor Walker, cited for striking Jordan Lewis. Now, Tex can accept a fine and be free to play against the Cats on Friday. Moving to injuries, and Rory Sloan and Jake Lever were the concerns to come out of the game. And we will have a full update in coming days, so stay tuned to afc.com.au. Now, in positive news for speedster Charlie Cameron, he's been nominated for Mark of the Year for his grab late in the game. A sensational fly from Charlie, so make sure you get behind him in the vote at afl.com.au. Now, as promised earlier, we spoke with the electric Eddie Betts, and we started by asking what it was like receiving a roar from the crowd with each and every possession. Yeah, it was good. It was nice and uh, warm up in Darwin. It was 32 that day and it was good to go up there because I think the old community um, came to the game. You know, you had um, supporters that drove in from Catherine and from all around Darwin just to come and watch us play and it seemed that, you know, we had more supporters up there than Melbourne and it was their home ground. So it was fantastic to get the win and good to see uh, the community come out and support us. Eddie also added to his highlight reel with another gem on his left and he talked us through that goal. Uh, <laughs> I had to get I had to get one pocket up there, um, but no, it was all right, you know. And, and it's good for Charlie too to take a mark to give give the crowd what they wanted. Charlie, you know, he's a great mark, and he's shown that he can fly for them before he took a couple of speckies before. So um, it's good to see him, you know, play so well. But it's a funny thing if you ever watch the mark, if you watch, if you ever see footage and try to get the bench, Riley Knight, watch Riley Knight off the bench. He jumps up and does a little dance on the sideline, which is which is not great. <laughs> We saw that Eddie was front and centre while Rory Sloan was being taken from the ground. We asked him what was being said out there. Um, he wasn't going off. He did a little hop, skip and jump to come back on, but the game wouldn't start if he didn't go off. So then, you know, Tex come over um, and said, listen, you've got to go off. And then we, I kind of said, come on, get off, because uh, it won't start unless you get off. And then he ran off. He's doing well today, so um, it's great to see him. Hopefully we can get him back up. Um, you know, it's a short turnaround, but hopefully he can get up and play, play this week against Geelong. Well, the skipper Tex Walker really stood up in Darwin and Eddie touched on the effect the big man has on the entire side. He is, and you know, when, when Tex leaves from um, the front, we get drawn to him and, and we follow him. And that's exactly like Daniel Tyler down back when Daniel leads, um, all the boys around him uh, follow. So it was a great performance by all and it's great to have them leading. Well, Eddie is set to play his 100th consecutive AFL game this weekend, a streak that extends back to his time at Carlton, and he spoke about his durability. I didn't know that, to be honest. <laughs> the 100th consecutive game this week. Oh, uh, we'll touch wood. Let's find some wood and hopefully I can continue it. Um, I try to do everything I can to get my body right. I know what I need to do to get my body right. You know, playing in the system now for 13 years, um, you, you, you basically know what you need to do to get yourself right. And, um, I'm lucky enough to not have any real serious injuries. I, I broke my jaw, I think, was uh, my last year at Carlton, round one, and then um, I missed, missed four weeks then and came back a game versus Adelaide, actually, and, um, and it played ever since for men. Well, it's a huge match this Friday against the Cats, and Eddie touched on what we can expect from the contest. Yes, it's, a, it's going to be fantastic this week. You know, it's one versus two, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great game, finals-like game, and I'm urging all our fans to get there and cheer us on. And the louder that you can get, the better we can play. Thanks so much for your time, Eddie, and good luck this Friday against the Cats. Well, our Sandful side took it right up to West Adelaide on Saturday afternoon, but couldn't hold out in the last term with the Bloods running away 21-point winners. Troy Menzel and first-year player Miles Paholke both booted three goals in the loss, while Paul Seedsman collected 19 touches and seven marks. Well, that's all the news coming out of Westlakes today. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, we are live at 5.55, Monday through Thursday every week of the season. So I'll see you tomorrow. Go Crows.